What is up, you beef stroking, mom poking, blunt smoking, semenizers of Samsonite? What's that mean? I don't fucking know. I'm Nick Stud. Welcome to the motherfucking Nick Stud show. What? Oh, God, your mom is a hoe. But first, a tasty beverage, though. Mm. Cheers, motherfuckers. It's motherfucking Wednesday. Mm. It's fucking hump day. Get out there and hump something. I don't give a fuck what it is. Get out there, catch you a goose, and turn it into a fleshlight. Hump something. I don't give a fuck. Stick your fingers in something. Yeah. You all remember when you used to stick your fingers in grandma's special pudding? Then you lick it off. Mmm. Prune pudding. Anyways, motherfuckers. Hope you're all having a good week. It's halfway through from the Monday through Friday, bitches. Such as myself. God damn it. But, uh, Jesus, you know. It's July. My school. I got back to school shit. I'm coming out in stores and stuff like that. And, uh, you know. I'd seen some articles about, you know, um, people having problems taking tests in school and shit, you know. And it's no secret that a lot of people, people suffer from uh, test anxiety. I mean, some of you guys remember back in school when you would fucking do well on your homework and everything else, but when it come to taking a test... You just do absolutely fucking horrible. You just fucking bomb it and shit. Um, you know, that would be a perfect example of test anxiety. And it's no fun. So I've, I've been trying to think about how I could help the situation when it comes to taking a test, you know. I've been trying to come up with ways for people to overcome this anxiety and to just improve their test taking abilities along with their grades as well. Um... And as it turns out, I developed a fucking service, you know, to help those in need when it comes to taking tests. I call it Mixed Studs Test Tickles, you know. And it, it, I, I found a few studies that showed that when a person was uh, tickled in specific areas while taking a test, it not only decreased their anxiety, but it also um, improved their grades overall amongst everything uh, in school. So you know, boosted her self-confidence. And uh, this also completely alleviated their test anxiety, you know. But I can promise you that once you get a taste of McStutt's testicles during an exam, that if you're going to get that F, if that's what you're going to get, that motherfucking F, this time I promise you, you're going to get that motherfucking D, you know. And uh, if you try my service for at least one month, I can assure you that you'll be screaming that McStutt's testicles work for me at the end of it. You know, that's what I'm fucking saying. You know, I, I promise results. You know, and what's even better is that the first month, the first month of uh, McStutt's testicles is absolutely fucking free. So you'll be able to take full, ex full, uh, da, 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 full advantage of my testicles at the BMV, the eye doctor, or even during a motherfucking pregnancy test. You know, if you weren't pregnant, pregnant before uh, you tried my testicles, I can promise you that you would definitely be knocked up afterwards. God damn it, sorry, I just woke up from a nap. I'm trying to compose myself. But anyways, I plan on releasing my testicles in the next month or two, so be on the lookout for McStud's testicles, you know? They'll never leave you fucking hanging. Uh, it's gonna be a life changer, I swear to God. I'm about to get some shirts promoted, you know? McStud's testicles. It's gonna be some good shit. Uh, God, I'm fucking tired. I'm hungry. Took a long ass nap. I needed it. Uh, it was Sunday night into Monday, I slept like maybe an hour, and I just have not fucking recovered for that. And after work today, I was just beat. I ate some fucking pizza rolls, and I motherfucking crashed. I needed that, but I'm still fucking tired. It sucks. But enough about you know being tired and you know my amazing testicles. Uh, 
<clears throat> you guys ever fuck a woman with hemorrhoids? If you haven't, you're fucking missing out. I promise you that, you know? Talk about all sorts of extra motherfucking stimulation. <clears throat> and if you fuck her hard enough, extra lubrication. Um, you know, if you can handle the smell of iron, then I can assure you that you will not be disappointed. It's, it's, it's fucking great, you know? Plus, after you're done and you look down, you, you would swear you were fucking some period pussy, you know? This one may have been chocolate chump period pussy, but uh, period pussy nonetheless, you know? You ain't seen a pussy nailed that hard since Jesus in Rome. Did I just Mike Tyson my Jesus? Some bitch. Here comes a lisp. Anyways, do yourselves a favor and thank me later. God damn, I really don't have a lot tonight. I just want to do a video real quick. I can't decide if I want to shower first or eat first. And then shower. Or, you know what I'm saying. I'm a whole motherfucking mess. Ah, uh, God damn. You know what? With that being said, I'm just going to fucking call this video quits. I'm done for the night. Until next time, motherfuckers. Thanks for watching. I'm excited, and I'll catch you with just later news. Ah!